Hi, Robkins here, N0, KGM, and DN40CL, also better known as Salt Lake City, Utah. Hey, we're here today uh, doing a little bit of work uh, over the weekend, uh, putting together basically a, um, a GSPDO uh, a station to give us uh, stability uh, in our microwave. So uh, if you remember GAPS, uh, we're all familiar with that, and the DO is a discipline oscillator. So if you might remember, there's different levels of uh, crystals and oscillation as you go up the, the food chain. You start out with a standard crystal uh, oscillator, which is uh, pretty common in most of the HF gears. Um, and even some of the higher end grills, like the ICOM 7700, I know that actually has a TCXO in it, which is kind of the next level up. And then you have the oven crystal oscillator, which is basically the uh, OCXO. And it basically keeps the uh, crystal inside of a warm oven, oven at about 40 degrees centigrade, uh, roughly. And that really gives us a really good stability. And, and basically, the oven-controlled crystal oscillator, the uh, OCXO, is uh, actually quite usable in most of the microwave frequencies. I just uh, installed one. I was running the TX, the CCXO in my 10 gigahertz uh, gear and uh, upgraded it for, to the uh, oven-controlled uh, oscillator, and I picked up about 5 uh, uh, KC kilohertz basically coverage and stability. So uh, today what we did over the weekend is we put together the GPS uh, DO and I might add when you get to the oven crystal oscillator there is actually one more step in there which is the rubidium uh, oscillator. You can go Google all this stuff on the internet or better yet pick up the microwave handbook from uh, the AWRL and read about all this good stuff. But the rubidium uh, is another layer and then we get to the top which is the GPS which is what we're doing right now. So um, I'll just kind of give you a little tour of the shack of what we put together here this weekend. Um, the, you can see, I'll go over here first quick just to give you a snapshot of uh, here's basically the uh, here's basically the rig, right? This is a, a 24 gigahertz uh, receiver, and um, what we're doing, transceiver actually here, we've got the uh, one foot dish uh, going into the uh, local oscillator here. In this case, this is actually a, a TC uh, XO. Uh, crystalline oscillator inside there and what I've done is there's uh, in the back here this little cable coming out this is a little cable that goes into the GPS unit that gives it the highest frequency stabil stability uh, basically so this will work out in the field just fine but if you want that next level up I could go to the oven controlled oscillator or then I could go to the rubidium or I could go to the top of the stack which is a GPS and that's what I'm doing here at the home QTH um, so that's kind of the gear there and then uh, let me just kind of go down here and show you the uh, GPS unit. It's uh, right right here on the shack bench. Uh, sorry the mess, but it wouldn't be a good ham shack if there weren't wire and cables uh, listed all over the desk. So right here, this unit can, probably came out of a, uh, a cell tower, an E911 uh, uh, cell tower, or could have came out of some older military aircraft gear because I use that as well. But essentially, this little box is uh, about half the size of a book, and this is where the GPS unit is. And this little white cable here, I actually have this going outside to, uh, boy, let's see if I can see the GPS. It would be kind of cool to actually show you the, the GPS. Yeah, that little white cable. That, see that little white uh, triangle thing uh, sitting there at the end of the steps? That little white uh, uh, thing is actually a GPS 10. I just have uh, on the side of the, uh, the balcony, you can see they're just wired right onto the thing. So that's my GPS antenna. Um, that's basically uh, out and about that seems to work pretty good, and that's what's hooked up to this uh, this white cable that comes in the door into this actual GPS unit. I've got an RS-232 cable that's going here, and I use that primarily just for some testing gear. Uh, you can see here as I move the unit out of the way um, on the computer screen, I'm tracking the stability right here. This uh, shows me it's a computer program that hook up the GPS unit that shows me what kind of stability I'm getting and all the different, these are the different satellites that I'm picking up, everything in green, so I have one, two, three, four, five different satellites out of eight that's picking up right now. And here you can see the trending of the uh, the stability uh, of the actual GPS signal, which actually is being fed. So when I start up this pink, as you can see here, it goes up and down, up and down. This is about a six hour, eight hour point right here, and eight hours that went on through the night. So it's really stabilized up to, uh, you know, the 10 or 16 hour period really right now. So that's... Uh, a little bit about kind of the GPS unit and stability, and let's see if we can hear the beacon. Turn it on here. Okay. We've got basically a carrier for 30 seconds. That, um, here we go. So 
that unit there is coming out of uh, this IF unit. This little uh, dish is pointed out my window. It's hitting the uh, the mountains over on the other side. It's about 20 miles across the valley and uh, picking the reflection on the beacon uh, that's uh, basically in the backyard pointed west. Okay, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed a little bit learning a little bit about, uh, ooh, little bit about the GPS. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about GPS uh, DO and 24 gigahertz beacon. This is N0KGM. We'll say 7.3. Thanks.